Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have a pretty unbalanced rack, no vowels at all. However, if opponent plays even one vowel, I should be able to play through it. And he doesn't, which is particularly irksome, because literally any vowel would have been okay. And I'm now in a tricky position as to what to do. I think I do need to change playing just CH. Only 14 points, keeping five consonants. That can't be good. And it's also providing a very easy scoring spot. So I am going to change. That's the easy bit. The tricky bit is what to change. And I think I'm going to keep just ST. So painful throwing back an S. I'm going to keep SST. So I have stylers. And I'm fairly sure there will be a number of of eights with this rack. Great, and Stylers plays to make cheese. I don't have an I for playing parallel to Chi, so I'm restricted to column 9 for 7 letter plays. If I want to get points for the Q, which I do. I do have Systole and Stylizer in column 8, but that scores less. So it's a case of where to play stylers. And I think it's here. In terms of ease of parallel plays for my opponent to reach a triple word square. Stylers for 74. Well, bingo-y tiles, but too many vowels. No sevens here. There could be an eight, and there are quite a few floaters to consider. Just working my way down, Stylers. Nothing's come to mind. 41 for opponent. Good score. My lead now just 11 points. So, how to sort this rack out? How can I play off some vowels? I do have Aurea as a six-letter play on my rack. So that doesn't play anywhere. So what about a shorter play? Well, I could just play IO here, 41 points. There are very few spots to, to easily play. I guess column 10, sticking something on next to this E might score well. This rack leave isn't terrible. Certainly there are many ways in which this could become bingo-y. 17 points, quite good. Not seeing anything better. I'm going with this. And I draw an X. So if a pen doesn't take this spot, I have X with and without the E. Well, a pen does go there. So where can I play? F doesn't take anything I've got. Re does. It takes an X, but I don't have any plays beginning with an X. And I don't have any five-letter plays which would get the X doubled. Nothing goes in front of my. Can't see anything through these two-letter sets which get the X doubled. So quite a tricky spot to be in. We're dead level on points. I was thinking about playing AE, but that sets up a nice six letter spot. I don't really like playing just EX, that sets up a play in plays in column 12. Nothing I've got goes after IO or CHI or in front of IO.
Well, I'm just wondering about doing this. XR8, 15 points, and a pretty good rack leave. I'm going with this. Well, fairly balanced, but not not particularly bingo friendly B and P lack synergy. I do have BAP above XR8, but given the limited opportunities on the board, I think that's likely to attract opponent's attention. But I think it'll be hard for opponent to play around XR8 without creating additional scoring spots, and this is a good rack for short scoring words and I should be able to leave a decent rack leave. If I can't play off B and P, I would rather play off the B. I think the P is slightly more bingo -y. Okay, so I don't have anything which goes after EX, which is just an O. But there is column one, A and E go in front of we, and there's row D for plays which play underneath we. I can't see any four letter plays which get my B on this spot. And I was looking for plays which began with a P. What I do have is Peba in row A, but do I have a word ending ER? Not sure about Raper. Well, that would require two R's. So plays ending A-R or E-R. Yeah, nothing else goes in front of X. Well, I'm not seeing anything. But I have PBA for 34, which is quite good. Rack leaves slightly vowel heavy, but otherwise it's good. These are three of the six tiles in retain, so some of the most bingo-y letters in the alphabet. Just pausing in case I'm there is a play which has an R in fifth place. Even if it leaves a B or P on my rack, but I'm not seeing it. So PBA for 34. Great. I don't get swamped with vowels, and I've got a good scoring tile in the Z, and I have a, an 11-point lead. Wow, opponent changes. That's good. Wasn't expecting that. Board's still pretty tight. Now, I don't think there's a bingo on offer here. And I'm looking in row D. So I have Zine, which would probably maximize score. However, then opponent could score off the Z with a five letter play. I wonder, well, he's changed three, so he's kept four tiles. That's, well, it's difficult to form any strong view. Obviously he's kept four good tiles, but that's not as worrying as if he's kept five or six good tiles. So, or only takes an E that I've got. Zine is my only way of getting the Z doubled. Res is good. So I could play Zania and Res. 42. I think this is going to score a lot more. 60 points. And the rack leaves pretty good. I'm going with this. Not so good, but not a disaster. If opponent bingos, he'll simply be drawing level. Do I have a play beginning with Z? Don't think I do. This I.O. has really choked up the bottom of the board. And I did have an N for making chin, but I no longer have, have one. X8 takes nothing after it. 
and F takes F, S and T, none of which I have. So I'm not seeing any huge scoring opportunities with this rack on this board. A Wii takes an L and only an L. What do I have which goes after R, E? Just my O. Do I have... Wow, interesting. Only 15 points for opponents. That's good in some ways. What's, what's not so good is that he's provided no new scoring spots for me. And I was hoping he would provide one. So do I have a five-letter play beginning with O? Don't think I do. I think I need to play off one of Y and K, at least. Again, nothing going in front of IO, so I can't play around a Chi. So I could play Ori, keeping K, Y, U. That's pretty grim. I can play Barky, which has merit in that it gets O with a 22 point mark. And I'd like to keep scoring while I'm a bingo ahead. I wouldn't want my lead to be eaten away at such that my opponent can win without a bingo. What's not so good is I'm op opening a new pretty good five letter bingo lane in column five. But such a bingo lane already exists in column 11. I've got an O for going in front of K. 16 minutes on my clock. Is that really the best I can do? Nothing goes after Rome. I don't have anything which goes after Zine. I think I am going to play Barky. It does spit up the duplicate R. I'm vulnerable to drawing vowels. And let's see what happens. Well, I have one scoring tile in the H, which is good. My lead just under 80 points. Wow, nice bingo by my opponent, 76 points, so just two points between us. And I can play Laugh. 30 points, pretty good. Quite a good rack lead, given how many vowels I start with. I'm not too bothered about providing floaters. These aren't the, the most useful floaters in the world. And I think we're too far from the end to be trying to lock the board up, especially when we're neck and neck. So at this stage, or with this rack, it's all about score and rack leave, and I, I'm not seeing anything better than laugh. Fantastic. I draw the final blank. Rest of the rack, pretty good. Do I have a bingo? And do I have two bingos? Such that I'm guaranteed one. So I have Oranger in column five and Oi. What about a play towards the right of the board? Duplicate R slightly hampering. No T for Arrogant or Tarragon. What about a play beginning with the H? Fantastic. Opponent chokes up the right-hand side of the board and leaves Oranger alone. Do I have a play starting one square higher, beginning O-N or O-A? O-A, not likely. And O-N, also not likely. Oranger takes a Y at the end. Both Ys have gone. And both blanks will have gone. Are there any other lanes I should be considering? Well, I suppose 
probably 8G if I can reach the triple word square. So that's likely to be a play beginning one square above 8G. And I've noticed my clock's down to 8 minutes. I think I had my eye on my opponent's clock. So I probably ought to speed up. So a play beginning something 8G doesn't seem very likely. So Oranger for 69. Not great, but survivable. Could have been worse. If Tuft is playable, then that sorts the rack out. And it is. It's playable at the top of column 12. It's also playable in column 4. What do I have in row H? Well, I have Fitna. Well, opponents played there. I have no bingo with this rack. Eight minutes on my clock, 23 tiles to come. Both blanks gone. One S left. Let me check the vowels. 15 out of 30. So totally balanced bag. I like Tuft. Top right, not particularly dangerous with the double word square covered. Rack leave, pretty optimal. 20 points, okay, especially given that I'm a bingo ahead. Anything better? GIF is good. And Utu is good. Wow, stuffed isn't good. I think it might be unstuffed, which is. What about sniffed. Okay, well that wouldn't play, so it would have to be UFT. I'm going with Tuft. Divinus through an S. No S is available. There could be other bingos with this rack. What about E and R? Maybe I should be at least blocking these. And I can do that. I could play Driven. I could play Viner, which is even more blocky. Twenty-four points. Doesn't provide very much. Again, the V covering the double letter square. Six minutes on my clock. I hope there isn't a bingo through this R. Let me put this back. So Vintried, not good. Close to inverted. What about the D? What about the O? Can't see anything there. What about the W? That's less likely. What about the E? I think a bingo now would put the game to bed. I'm not seeing one. Six minutes on my clock, 16 tiles to come. I am going to play Viner. It takes out all these floaters and massively restricts the bingo lanes. I think just the E is available. Not good at all. If opponent doesn't use the V, I have Vivo. What if he does? Okay, so I, I can play Void, close to Vidya, doesn't quite play, Void's quite nice, it would be nice to get it doubled, but I am taking out the A, can I do better, 5 minutes on my clock, rack leave is not great. What about a play beginning one square lower? Yeah, what about this? Viold for 27, taking out these, the floating E. 
or forcing any bingos to be nine letter plays. I'm, and the rack leave is better. I'm going with this. Not great. There is a seven letter lane in column 10 for bingos beginning with two vowels. That will be opening up row O. And I lead by 80. So the game's not wrapped up, but I'm in a strong position. I think my main danger is if opponent finds a fancy bingo, which doesn't provide anything good in response. I don't think he can catch me without a bingo. Having said that, I'm not seeing anything fabulous with this rack. Just two eyes in terms of vowels. I have an N for chin, so at the very least I've got gin, which doesn't give much away. Two tiles in the bag. Wow. So if I play gin, I'll be emptying the bag four minutes on my clock. So what to do? Do I empty the bag? Remaining tiles, pretty bingo-y. And there are five two-letter sets opponent can play through. I can't score enough, I don't think, to survive a bingo. What about playing Indict for 22? That would take me to 414. Eight points count back. 406. S opponent would need to score 68. Well, he'd get more count back. He would win with a bingo. But if he doesn't bingo, then I think Indict gives me a good chance of going out in one next go. I have three minutes on my clock to contemplate if this is best. I think I'd need to score about 40 points to outrun a bingo. That's not going to happen. Unless there's super something super hot I've missed. I don't think I have a bingo through any of these two letter sets. My rack just seemed too unbalanced. I'm going with this. Well, that's quite a relief. Opponent has five vowels. I'm not seeing anything immediately. In particular, I'm not seeing anything in column 10 that he has. I think my hopes of going out in one. Probably extinguished by drawing two consonants. Just looking around at possible places. Can't see anything through the E of Oranger. I've still got IN for Gin and Chin, which is a good score. And if opponent doesn't bingo, I think I'm guaranteed the win. So I've got both E's available, but I can only see Mince with this rack and an E. What about Shaman? As in Shaman de Fer. Don't think it's good. Nope. Not seeing anything else through that. Can't see anything through GI. What about UT? No. AL? No. Well, opponent has provided an O, and I think I do have something through that. But what is it? Is it Monic? Yes, it is. And the final score, 348 to my opponent. 438 to me, a winning margin of 90 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. He changed, not surprisingly. I also changed, and I still like that. Opponent plays Chi. 
and I have stylers and nothing obviously better. Wow, 57 available for opponent. But he does pretty well to get 41. And I have this unbalanced and low scoring rack. So I play IO for 17. Wow, which is actually the most points on offer. So I still like that. Horrible rack for opponent. He plays Stuart with FE. And I play X or 8 for 15. And this was a very tricky rat to, to spot anything. B5, zero seer. Yep, certainly sorts the rack out. But I still like my play. Gives less away. Opponent's rack plays web. And now I have Peba across the top. Opponent has the blank, but no vowels. And changes. And I have this rack. I play Zine for 60. That looks fine. Zinky, G11. Ah, oh, Zinky and Res. Yep, interesting possibility. 12 fewer points. I still prefer my play. <gasps> wow. Choice of bingos here. Opponent either doesn't see them or chooses to play putts, retaining the blank. My rack, and I play Barky. This was a really tricky rack. I didn't like Barky because of the rack leave and the pretty ropey score. But nothing obviously better. Opponent has a choice of bingos, plays up folds, and now there's just two points between us. I play laugh. Oh, wow, I thought opponent might have a bingo here. He doesn't. Plays tie. And I have orange of 69, J2, Garon's chin and Io's. Wow, I didn't consider that lane. Clearly I should have done. I thereby left, well, eight points on the table, albeit Garon's is better for my opponent in terms of providing floaters. My opponent plays downer. And I play tuft for 20. I could have played fit for 26 in the same spot, retaining the U. All the U's have gone, so possibly worth considering. Opponent plays Thig. Now, what about this rack? Phew, no missed bingo here. L1 diverts. Yeah, well that creates a bingo lane and there are a lot of vowels out there, so I don't like that. I played Viner, which really killed off the board bingo-wise. Wow, horrible rack for opponent. When he needs a bingo to win and the bag's running out, plays Vi E. I have Vi Old. Yep, at 2k, and I still like that. Opponent plays Jane. And now we are in the pre-end game with just two tiles in the bag. I Midic, yep. In the spot where I played in Dite, but a much better play, bigger score, better rack leave. Now, opponent's final rack. Plays Olio. And, well, Mince was available, but Monic and Nomic, both good for more points. So, pretty exciting game. I established an early lead and maintained it, but I was never more than a bingo ahead, so I felt that my opponent was breathing down my neck throughout, and indeed in the middle of the game I think we were just separated by two points. However, I re-established that bingo's lead and managed to, to hang on to secure the win. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time.